Hello, Sean here. In this video, let us talk about how to maximize the impact of your offer. So, let's start by asking this question. What impact will buying from you have on the prospect and their business? Getting your prospect to answer this question and you and the prospect will know just how important solving the need or reaching the desired future state is. You'll also get a sense of how much it is worth for them and how much your prospect is willing to spend to solve this problem or to reach their goal. This lesson today covers strategies you can employ to uncover the impact, including how to build your own impact model, which will make your selling efforts more successful. So, Creating urgency for buying your products or services hinges on how well you help the prospective client answer the so what questions. The master salesman builds a true value gap. So as you can see this, as you can see this uh, visual right here, uncovering the impact of your success and failure creates the true value gap. You create the initial value gap initially when you are uncovering their affliction and inspiration as I covered in the last video. However, you have to create a true value gap by uncovering the benefits of a success and the cost of the failure if you want them to truly take the actions to the next step. And there are two types of impact. Rational impact, emotional impact. Rational impact is when the business case where a prospect understands the red return on investment over solving a particular afflictions or achieving aspiration. Whereas emotional impact is when the prospect's desire for success, financial freedom, peer recognition, pride, happiness or success, stress, stress reduction. And as a seller, you want to build both rational and emotional impact to maximize your influence on the prospective buyer. Then how do you make this impact tangible? Getting the prospect to see, understand, and internalize the effects of doing or not doing something is the key components of the success in sales. Then how do you do this? First, calculate and communicate the rational impact in dollars. Calculate your dollar impact. Quantify how buying you would help them financially in terms of the return on investment. Build your impact model. So you can create the four box like this. Need, Capability that solves the need, questions to uncover need, impact on the customer. In the need section box, you write the problem you solve. In the capability solve the need section, you write the product, service, or approaches that you use to solve the problem with, and you can tell their questions based on that. And the final box is impact on the customer sections. You are writing the impact of solving those problems on prospect. For example, if you're in the business of decreasing turnover, you are writing the decreasing turnover in the need. In the, in the capability that solves the need sections, you're writing your services and product and you're tailoring your questions in the sections. And in the impact on the customer sections, you are writing something like reducing the turnover by 10% overall and save 70 people and thus creating the $150,000 $150, times 70 and you are saving around like $10 million for your customer. In sales conversations, focus on how buying from you will be a financial benefit to them. For example, seller would say, if you implement this program, how much do you think it will affect your staff turnover? Buyer then says, well, all in all, probably will improve by 10%. Seller then says, okay, given your staff size, that means you will decrease unwanted turnover by about 70 people each year, right? Buyers say, yeah, I agree, that sounds about right. Seller then says, and we established earlier that in order to rehire, retrain, and recoup from the lost productivity, each unwanted turnover would cost you about 150k, right? Buyer then says, yes, that is crazy. That's over 10 million dollars if you can solve this problem. Seller then says, yes, we'll work together to solve this problem. In real life, it won't be as straightforward as this example. However, it is important to note that any service or product will have a specific financial gains as a result of this purchase. And you, as a seller, want to put an emphasis on this point. Next, what are the some 
common business factors that can affect the financial impact. There are four examples that are following. Reduce cycle times, increased uptime, lower risk, faster time to market, increased salespeople performance, strengthen innovation, higher profitability, less waste, increased leads in pipeline, lower costs in any area while maintaining or improving quality, better quality, fewer repairs, longer life in general, increased brand recognition or preference, less employee turnover, less stops and starts of the failed project, less script and rework, and finally, more employed productivity. Your job as a seller is to quantify these factors into the tangible dollar amounts. Therefore, it is a good idea to do prepare this data in advance before the sales conversations. Next, ways to build this type of impact tangible is to clarify and communicate the emotional impact. People buy with their heart and justify with their brain. So, for example, if you want to you want to, as a seller, emphasize the points like if as a result of solving this problem, buyer would have more increased prestige, more enjoyable day, more safety and security, not needing to work until 11 p.m., more time with the family, having taken more vacation, reduced stress. For example, a seller would say something like, okay, so let's pretend that we implement this. We've already established the likelihood that you'll be able to compete in East Asian market much more effectively, but I'm curious to know how it might affect your daily workflow. The buyer will say like, well, if you start taking care of this instead of how I'm doing it now, you will take a major headache off my plate. I have three major responsibility, but only, only we have the resource to get two of them done. That was quite frustrating. With you taking on this third major responsibility, I'll have more time to take care of my other needs. So if you can work this out, this will relieve the frustration and at the same time, it will give much stronger chance of re reaching my goal. Plus, with you and your team working on it, I can finally relax knowing someone has it who knows how to handle it. It just won't be off my plate. I won't, I won't have that nagging, is it just getting done right feeling all the time. Sometimes, the emotional impact doesn't come out this easily in the business setting. Instead, it could come out in the more relaxed setting such as after the meeting in the dinner. Next way is to access and communicate the impact against the alternative of keeping status quo. Be certain about primary alternatives that the prospect is considering so you can make the most compelling case. For example, let's look at this pile case study. Salah will say, so, let's take, a look at, look, let's take a look again at the marketing budget. From an outreach perspective, not including staff, you're spending about around $2 million on advertising right now. Tell me again, what are you getting for that? Buyer then says, well, we are getting our name out there and touching our prospect regularly, so we are building our brand recognitions. Seller then asks, okay, I understand. From our past conversation, I also understand you have about 2,000 prospects that you're targeting, right? Buyer then says, yes, this sounds about right. Seller then asks, Seller then says, okay, if that is the case, with about two to three people per prospect, company can reach out to decision makers and influencers for purchasing what you sell. Buyer then says, that's right. Seller then says, let's look at it from the another perspective. If you were to target them directly, that would be between 4,000 to 6,000 prospect with your $2 million targeted directly at them, the decision makers. That is about $303 to $500 per person per year. If you spend about $20 per touch on average using, for example, direct mail, email marketing, and even periodic telemarketing, we could touch them 17 to 25 times per year. And at the same time, we could be generating them as a lease, not just building brand. That's more brand impressions than advertising spend, while possibly putting $1 million in your pipeline all for the same money. So two questions. A. Is this right? B. How much do you think we would be possible to add to the pipeline if we did this? Is it somewhere around a million? Buyer then says, yes, you are right. And that would probably be about $10 million in pipeline versus I don't know what we'll get with advertising. Hmm, it looks like we have some budget shifting to consider. As a result of demonstrating this impact like this, a buyer will do one of the three things. First, they want to get them to have to fix the problem by buying something. If that's the case, congratulations, you pretty much made a sale. 
Second, buyer might fix the problem on their own. If that is the case, dig more about what is holding them back from getting a service pro provider to fix this problem. Or third, procrastinate or do nothing at all. If this, the, this is the case, then you as a seller has to maximize the sense of urgency. Speaking with that, let's talk about how to maximize the sense of urgency moving forward. Demonstrating a strong impact for why a prospect should buy from you now is one of the important skills for you to have as a seller. For example, buyer might say, our team was very impressed with the presentation, but we've decided to delay any action for at least a quarter. Please keep in touch. Seller then says, what won't happen if you don't move forward? Just like this, when a buyer expresses need but won't move forward, ask this question, what won't happen? First, ask yourself. Building a case to yourself for the negative impact for not solving their problem. Keep in mind that a buyer ultimately deserves better life and less headache by using your service. Thus, you are doing them a disservice if you cannot sell them your service. Second, ask the prospect. When you sense that the issue is in a top priority for prospect, you can ask, can you give me a sense of what you think would happen if you choose not to move forward this, in this process and work with us? If the, process, if the prospect doesn't enumerate what won't happen as specifically as you might like, you should lead them with a further question to dig deeper. Third, quantify the result and present the financial consequences of not moving forward. First, like for example, quantify the impact of the prospect of not moving forward. Calculate the financial value of each person of the customers that the prospect retains from one year to the next. Third, calculate the effect of losing the price competition battle and losing ground to the competitors. Fourth, make sure your case is clear before going on to the next step. Next step will be demonstrating the result. Demonstrate the result of the what won't happen analysis. Mr. Pro for example, Mr. Prospect, you'll be missing out on possibility of 20% company growth and 34% increase in revenue, which quantifies up to 25 million US dollar. If you choose not to move forward, are you okay with this? As a seller, you may want to translate percentages and other metrics to the dollar amounts. Remember that the best metrics to use are the ones that your prospect is already using or agrees upon. Fifth, bills credibility. They have the aspiration and afflictions, and you have the products and services to help them meet their goal. It may sound pretty funny, but if you want them to perceive you as credible, simply say to them, trust me, I'm in this business for quite a while and I know what I'm talking about. Also, let them know that you've been there before and what happened when you were there. This will help you to build the credibility. So build the credibility with a similar impact. The right story or case study can be a powerful demonstrator of impact and a strong positive influence on the ultimate sell. Demonstrate a story or a case study with similar situation, similar industry, similar challenge, similar solution. And last but not least, demonstrate the impact tangibly. Idea is to make the effects as tangible as possible. The more tangible you can demonstrate the impact, stronger the case, stronger the case it can be. So so this sums up the video of today's lesson and in next time we'll be talking about we'll be talking about how to bring the new reality to the buyer